Hello, my name is Dan Stone. I teach math at the West Campus. And I also do a fair bit of work with the Ogden website for both campuses. Um, I am today going to show you how to activate your Edline account. So the first thing that you will need is your activation code. Uh, it is a 12 character code such as this. It could be a parent code, student code, they both will be activated the same way. But take that and you're going to use that code to go to edline.net and you're going to click down here in the lower left hand corner click here if you have a new activation code. You input your activation code here and this is the same one that I just pulled from uh, the Word document. Enter that in and then you will be prompted here to confirm that it is the correct account for you. So you'll see here it says make sure each code you have entered is yours. I've got Skywalker Luke's parent at Ogden 6 through 12 and in this case I am signing in as Luke Skywalker's father and that is indeed who I am. So in, I'm going to click activate this code and then I've got a privacy and policy terms of use. I will agree to that. And for most of the time, you're going to want to use the new account on the top. And that's what we'll do for the purposes of, purposes of this demo. However, if you have if you're a parent and you have uh, two or more children that are attending Ogden, then after you set up your first account initially and you've got a username, you can click on combined account and you'll be prompted basically to log in and then it will connect the new code you just put into a, an account you've already got. And this will work for um, whether you're, you have a student here that is at then Ogden or any other school that's got an Edline account. Um, as long as you've got that activation code and you, you, you've already got an account, you can, you can combine the two. But in, for, again, for purposes of this demonstration, we're going to go to new account right up there. And your screen name, it can be whatever you wish. Password, whatever your password you choose to be is there. Set all of that up. Uh, you can input your your first and last name here or leave it as as is. That is up to you. Okay, I put in a password that was a little too simple there. So don't just punch in the same character again and again and again. Put in something that will be a little bit a uh, little bit tough to find. Okay, so once you've got all that set up, you're going to be prompted for um, your email address. I'm just going to put in a test one here. Whoop. And it will send in uh, a confirmation message here. What's important is that once this has been sent, that you go ahead and confirm that you have got um, the email message. You'll It'll be in your inbox most likely. It might be in your spam or junk. It depends on how your filters are set up for your email account. But it is very important that you check that email and you will see a link in there. If you do not check the email and click that link, then Edline will have no way of knowing that the email address that it just sent is legitimate. So if um, you do not click that, then you will not receive any information to that email address from the school. And that's one of the, the best features of Edline is that you can be contacted uh, via email with all the important updates. So I strongly recommend to, 
uh, right away make sure that you've got that email in your inbox. You click the link, and then next time you log in, if you go to your settings, you'll see this is not at pending. That you'll see that this says live, um, and that is verifying that it is indeed working and receiving. Um, you can also add a picture if you so wish, and then you've also got some options for a password reset. Um, you can do any of those there. Once you're finished, you're going to click Save and Return, and you will be all done. Again, if you have a second account you would like to link to this, like for another uh, child, for example, you just go through the same process, go back to uh, edline.net, click Sign Up with a new code, and then click that second option we looked at earlier and sign in with your, your Edline account, and it will automatically link that new code to your existing account. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Uh, again, my name is Dan Stone. Let me put my email address up here for you. I am Dan Stone. You can reach me at dgstone at cps.edu. And that's it. So thank you very much for your time, and I hope you have a great day.